Hello and welcome to another episode of today's GK. I am Pooja Devedi and in this segment we bring to you objective questions on a daily basis to help you crack prelims. So let's begin with the practice question of last segment. Consider the following statements about the empire of Vijayanagar. The empire was founded in the 14th century by Krishna Dev Raya Nayak. It stretched from the Kaveri river in the north to extreme south of the peninsula. So which of the above sentences is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two, neither one nor two. Let's solve it together. So it says that this was founded in 14th century by Krishna Dev Raya Nayak, which is incorrect because it was founded in the year 1336. That's correct, but by two brothers named Harihara and Bukka. So that's incorrect. The first statement. Second, it says it stretched from the river Kaveri in the north to the extreme south of the peninsula. It actually stretched from river Krishna and not Kaveri. So none of these statements are actually correct. The correct option or the correct answer to this question is D, neither one nor two. So Vijayanagar or the city of victory, it was the name of both a city and an empire. And the empire was founded in the 14th century by, I have already told you this, of the Sangam dynasty. These two brothers belong to Sangam dynasty and they made Hampi as the capital city. In 1986, Hampi was declared as World Heritage Site by UNESCO. And it stretched from Krishna River to extreme south of the peninsula. Moving on to the next question, please. Consider the following statements with reference to Global Association for Physicians of Indian Origin. GAPIO is a non-profit organization recently established in January 2021. And the aim of this organization is to bring together 1.4 million physicians of Indian origin in the world on one professional platform. So which of the statements given above is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two, neither one nor two. So if we talk about the first statement, it is incorrect because it was established in the year 2011 and not 2021. And the second statement is correct. So the correct answer to this question is B, two only. Union Minister for Health addressed the Global Indian Physicians Congress organized by Global Association for Physicians of Indian Origin through video conference and it is a non-profit organization. It was established in 2011. Padma Vibhushan, Dr. Pratap C. Reddy, Chairman of Apollo Hospitals Group, is the founder president of GAPIO along with Dr. Sanku Rao and past president of AAPI USA and Dr. Ramesh Mehta, president of PAPIO UK. And the aim of the organization is to bring together 1.4 million physicians of Indian origin in the world on one professional platform. And GAPIO has held 10 annual conferences in India and has held nine media conferences overseas since 2011. So next question says, consider the following statements with reference to the Pixel India Pixel India is a Bengaluru-based startup planning to place a vast constellation of Earth imaging satellites for continuous monitoring of every part of the globe. And the first of its satellite called Anand was supposed to be on this PSLV C-51 rocket. So, which of the statements given above is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two, neither one nor two. The first statement says that it is a Bengaluru-based startup that is correct and it is also planning to set up a constellation of earth imaging satellites for continuous monitoring of the part of the globe, every part of the globe. And the second statement is also correct. So the correct answer to this question is C, both one and two. Pixel India is a Bengaluru based startup that completed two years of existence recently. And it is planning to place a vast constellation of earth imaging satellites for continuous monitoring of every part of the globe and beam high resolution imagery and other data that can be utilized for a variety of applications in climate change, agriculture and urban planning. Now the Indian government is bringing in and it is actually encouraging private players if we talk about space technology. So there is a very interesting platform. It's a very interesting scheme in space. In space is related to space technology and private players. If it's asked in your prelims exam, kindly remember that. Alright, moving on. The first of its satellite 
called Anand was supposed to be on this PSLV C-51 rocket that took off from Sri Harikota launching range this morning. But less than a week before the launch, company announced that due to certain software issues during testing, it would not go ahead with the launch of the satellite at this time. Moving on to the next question, consider the following statements with reference to the Maritime India Summit 2021. It is being organized by the Ministry of Ports, Shipping and Waterways on a virtual platform. Sweden is a part partner country for the three-day summit and the summit will visualize a roadmap for India's maritime sector for the next decade and it will work to propel India to the forefront of the global maritime sector. So which of the statements given above is or are correct? 1 and 2 only, 2 and 3 only, 1 and 3 only, 1, 2 and 3. Let's solve it together. Yes, this is being organized by the Ministry of Ports, Shipping and Waterways on a virtual platform. So this is correct. What did I tell you about uh, actually going through the statements? You have to read it in parts. So many of times what happens, the first part may be correct of the sentence, but the second may be incorrect. Be very careful about that. And the second statement says that Sweden is a partner country, which is wrong because Denmark is the partner country actually. All right. And the third statement, which says that the summit will visualize a roadmap for India's maritime security for the sector for the next decade and will work to propel India to the forefront of the global maritime sector is correct. So the correct option to this question is option C. Prime Minister Narendra Modi, he, he will inaugurate Maritime India Summit 2021 on 2nd of March via video conferencing and the Maritime India Summit 2021 is being organized by Ministry of Ports, Shipping and Waterways on a virtual platform. That is the domain and from 2nd March it is going to happen to 4th of March and Denmark is the partner country for the three-day summit that is what I told you and the summit will visualize a roadmap for India's maritime sector for the next decade and eminent speakers from several countries are expected to attend the summit and explore the potential business opportunities and investment in maritime domain of India. Channa Patna Toys recently seen in the news belong to which of the following states Karnataka, Telangana, Tamil Nadu, Odisha. So, it's of course a southern state by the name I hope you can understand. So, all the states given here have the tinge of being a relevance to this toy. But the correct answer here is Karnataka A. Alright, moving on to the explanation, it says that Channa Patana is a city and taluk headquarters in Ramnagar district, Karnataka, India and Channa Patna is also called Channa Patna by locals. The city is famous for its wooden toys and lacquerware. And Channa Patna is also called town of toys. That means Gombegala Nagara. The origin of these toys is dated back to the reign of Tipu Sultan, who invited the artisans from Persia in order to train the local artisans in the art of wooden toy making. These toys have been given a geographical indication tag by the government of India. Moving on to the next question. Consider the following statements with reference to the Amazonia 1 satellite. It was developed by Brazil and launched by NASA. It will use data to monitor deforestation in Amazon region. So which of the statements given above is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two, neither one nor two. Solving it together. Yes, it has been developed by Brazil. That is correct and launched by NASA, that is incorrect because it is launched by ISRO, alright? And by the name of Amazonia, the name of the satellite itself, it gives you a, an answer that it will use data to monitor deforestation in the Amazon forest, Amazon region. So the correct answer to this question is B2 only. The Indian Space Research Organization will launch the Amazonia 1 satellite of Brazil and 18 co-passenger satellites through PSLV C-51 rocket from the Satish Dhawan Space Center at Sri Harikota on February 28, 2021 and PSLV C-51 which is the 53rd mission of PSLV which it will launch Amazonia 1 of Brazil as primary satellite and 18 co-passenger satellites from Satish Dhawan Space Center Sri Harikota and PSLV C-51 Amazonia 1 is the first dedicated commercial mission of New Space India Limited, a government of India company under the Department of Space. NSIL is undertaking this mission under a commercial arrangement with Space Flight Inc. 
USA. The satellite would further strengthen the existing structure by providing remote sensing data to users for monitoring deforestation in the Amazon region and analysis of diversified agriculture across the Brazilian territory. Moving on to the next question, consider the following statements with reference to Ek Bharat Shreshth Bharat. It is an initiative of Ministry of Culture. It was launched to promote engagement and enhance mutual understanding amongst the people of different states and union territories and Rashtri Sanskriti Mahotsav is one of its initiatives. So, which of the statements given above is or are correct? 1 and 2 only, 2 only, 2 and 3 only, 1, 2 and 3. So, if we solve it together, the first statement says it's, the min it's an initiative of Ministry of Culture, which is wrong because it's the initiative of Ministry of Human Resource and Development. The second statement says that it was launched to promote engagement and enhance mutual understanding amongst the people of different states and union territories. This is correct. And the third statement is also correct. So the correct answer for this question is C, 2 and 3. Now, Ek Bharat, Shreshth Bharat was launched in 2015 to promote engagement amongst the people of different states and union territories so as to enhance mutual understanding and bonding between people of diverse cultures, thereby securing stronger unity and integrity of India and it is an initiative of MHRD. Also, the broad objectives if we talk about, it's to celebrate the unity in diversity, to promote the spirit of national integration, to showcase the rich heritage and culture, customs and traditions of different states and to establish long-term engagements and to create an environment which promotes learning between states by sharing best practices and experiences. And Rashtri Sanskriti Mahotsav is organized under Ek Bharat, Shreshth Bharat Initiative. Moving on, it is Asia's largest and world's second largest lagoon. It is largest wintering ground for migratory birds on the Indian subcontinent and is home to a number of threatened species of plants and animals. It was designated the first Indian wetland of international importance under the Ramsar Convention. You have to identify the lake using the options given below. Pulikat Lake, Vembanad Lake, Ashtamudi Lake, Chilika Lake. So the correct option here would be Chilika Lake. Alright, moving on. Migratory birds in and around Chilika Lake and Bhitar Kanika National Park have started leaving earlier the other years as temperatures in Odisha in and around Chilika Lake began to soar. Chilika is Asia's largest and world's second largest lagoon. It is largest wintering ground for migratory birds on the Indian subcontinent and is home to a number of threatened species of plants as well as animals. And in 1981, Chilika Lake was designated as the first Indian wetland of international importance. Under the Vansa Convention, major attraction at Chilika is Iravadi dolphins, which are often spotted off Satapada Island, the large Nalabana Island, forest of reeds, covering about 16 square kilometers in the lagoon. Area was declared a bird sanctuary in 1987 and Kalijai Temple, it is located on the island and the, in the Chilika Lake. Moving on to the next question, consider the following statements about Monetary Policy Committee. It is a statutory and institutionalized framework under the RBI Act of 1934. And the governor of RBI is the ex-official chairman of the committee. So you have to choose which of the statement is or are correct. One only, two only, both one and two, neither one or two. So the first statement is correct because it comes under Section 45 ZB. All right, this committee can be formed under the RBI Act, Section 45 ZB. And the second statement which says that the RBI governor is the ex officio chairman is also correct. So, the correct answer for this question is C. The RBI, in its currency and finance report of the year 2020 21, has said that the current inflation target band of given numbers is appropriate for the next. Five years. And if we talk about MPC, it is a statutory and institutionalized framework under the RBI Act for maintaining price stability while keeping in mind the objective of growth. And the governor is the ex official chairman of the committee, and MPC determines the policy interest rate, that is the repo rate, required to achieve inflation target, that is 4%. That means the band ranges from 2% to 6%, minimum to maximum. 
all right and repo rate is the rate at which different commercial banks get loans from the rbi keep in mind also an rbi appointed committee led by the then deputy governor urjit patel in 2014 it recommended the establishment of monetary policy committee moving on to the next question with reference to bhakti movement consider the following statements the development of the bhakti movement took place in tamil nadu between the 7th and the 9th centuries it was reflected in the emotional poems of nayanars and alvars a more effective method for spreading the bhakti ideology was the use of local language so which of the statements given above is or are correct one and two only two and three only one and three only one two and three the first statement says that the evolution the in evolvement of the bhakti movement took place in tamil nadu from 7th to 9th century that is correct and it was reflected in the emotional poems of nayanar nayanars and alvars all right and yes they used local language in order to increase the popularity so all the statements are correct 1 2 and 3 that means d and guru ravidas jayanti it's celebrated on magh purnima that is 27th of february 2021 the full moon day in the month of magh according to the hindu lunar calendar he was a 14th century saint and reformer of the bhakti movement in north india if we talk about this movement the development of the bhakti movement took place in tamil nadu between the 7th and the 9th centuries and it was reflected in the emotional poems of nayanars who were the devotees of shiva and alvars devotees of vishnu these saints looked upon religion not as a cold formal worship but as a loving bond based upon love between the worshipped and the worshippers in course of time the ideas of the south moved up to north but it was a very slow process a more effective method for spreading the bhakti ideology was the use of local language in order to increase communication and the bhakti saints composed their verses in local languages they also translated sanskrit works to make them understandable to a wider audience examples if we talk about it includes nandev writing in marathi kabir sudas and tulsidas in hindi shankara dev popularizing assamese chaitanya and chandidas spreading their message in bengali meera bai in hindi and rajasthani moving on to the next question consider the following statements about genetically modified organisms these are living organisms whose genetic material has been artificially manipulated in a laboratory through genetic engineering and food safety and standards authority of india is the apex body that allows for commercial release of gm crop so which of the statements given above is or are correct one only two only both one and two neither one nor two the first statement is saying that these are living organisms whose genetic material has been artificially manipulated with the help of genetic engineering this is correct the second statement is incorrect because fss ai doesn't have any say over the commercial release of gm crops because it comes under the genetic engineering appraisal committee all right so moving on the correct answer to this question is option a that is one only moving on to the explanation now fss ai is has in a recent order set 1% threshold for gmo in food crops imported into india and we have already discussed what a gmo is and if we talk about it it creates combination of plants animals bacteria and virus genes in that does not occur in nature or through traditional cross breeding methods even in india the genetic engineering appraisal committee is the apex body that allows for the commercial release of gm crops and use of the unapproved gm variant can attract a jail term of 5 years and a fine of rupees 1 lakh under environment protection of act of 1986 the task of regulating gmo levels as imported consumable was initially with the genetic engineering appraisal committee now this role was diluted under the enactment of the fss act of 2006 and fss ai was asked to take over the approvals of imported goods moving on to the practice question consider the following statements about saras ajivika mela it is a program to transform rural india in general and the lives of rural women in particular it is organized by the council for advancement of people's action in rural technology that is capart so which of the statements given above is or are correct one and two only two and three only both one and two neither one or two so 
I hope you'll be able to answer it correctly in the comment segment. That's it for today. Tomorrow we shall meet again with another segment. Until then, stay updated and thank you so much for watching.